Hey everyone, it's Desiree and welcome. I hope we're having a great day and getting time to be creative. Today we're going to play with a stencil. I saw buttercups. So we are going to make a very bright and happy card using the Spellbinders stencil um, of the month for August. And this is called Colorful Expressions Garden. So you can make them any color that you want. This is a five stencil set. And as you layer them up, you get this beautiful image that will work on all kinds um, or many size of card panels. I will be making a standard A2 size card panel today. I've pulled out my stencil mat from Waffle Flower and my dye inks, and we are going to start applying our inks. So the first one, we are putting our first color of leaves down. So the stencil has two stencils for your leaves. I'm choosing the lighter color first, and then I will come in with the darker color. Now you can always add a second color to this panel as well, just to add a little bit more definition, a little more depth. I've chosen to just take the stencils the way that they are, the way that they were designed and adding the two different shades as they sit. So you don't always have to add multiple colors to your stencils. You can just take the stencils as they were designed and you'll still get beautiful results. Now, one of the stencils in this set does have what I'm going to refer to as a detail stencil, stencil and that goes over the leaves and adds like the vines. Next up are the uh, flowers themselves. And again, I saw buttercups. And there's one little buttercup that I forgot. And you'll see, you see kind of in the center there of the main cluster. To totally forgot to cover that up, but that's okay. Our next stencil here is the center of our buttercups. And I chose a coral color to go into the center. And you can see just how fast our stencils, I think these are great, these layering stencils. They are at a great price point and they can create some beautiful images in no time. I'm coming in with a brown now and that's going to add the detail. The detail to the petals, detail to the leaves, um, to the flower buds. And you can see now this image just completely comes to life. Still don't notice that that little bud was not completed. We're now going to create our mats and I dug into my scrap for some panels and I created three different colors, a coral, a yellow, and a craft, just to pull all of those colors that were used for our project. I'm using my ATG gun to get that set up onto the panel. I'm then also going to come in and we're going to use some gems eventually. I love using cardstock as mats. I think it adds to the image. It doesn't add too much dimension. We're not adding 10, 15 different style mats. I think it just frames it and just pulls all of the colors together or makes them pop. If you don't want to use multiple colors, you could simply use black. And black will make any image stand up and on its own. I've grabbed some of my gems here and I'm just applying them to the center of each of the florals and just using different sizes um, for that as well. I'm going to, again, be using a sentiment. Um, I have a, a whole bin just filled with sentiment, and this is a better press sentiment that I'll be using that just simply says, happy birthday to you. I am going to prop that up 
using some double-sided foam squares and we're going to get that set in place as well. I think I said that yes this is an A2 size card um, and it is a top folding. Um, so I take a piece of cardstock, cut that to four and a quarter by eleven, and I score it at five and a half. And then once our sentiment is in place, our card is ready. Now, if you noticed, I remembered that the spot that I missed. So I real quick just pulled that stencil in and filled it in, and we are good to go. And here is our card all completed. As always, I do hope that you enjoyed uh, today's project featuring the stencil of the month for August called Colorful Expressions Garden. It will be linked down below in the description and if you have any questions make sure you reach out and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Enjoy the art that you create. Have fun with it. Don't stress no frustration and just have a play with all of the colors that you can and see what works because usually anything does I'd love for you to subscribe hit that thumbs up make sure you ring the bell for notifications but remember what's always important always be creative in everything that you do every day stay safe and I'll talk to you in the next one till then